And welcome back to Jeff Krenange, live at the Villa Rosa Gimpinski, here with some incredible women of Kenya. They have just achieved so much, thanks to Dr. Susan Mboya Kidero. She started an initiative called Zawadi Africa Education Fund some 15 years ago. 15 years later, 350 young women from across Africa have been educated at a cost of six billion shillings and counting. This year alone, they sent 20 girls to America. Imagine what's that going to do for Kenya four years from now. That's the whole point. She is her father's daughter. Tom Boyer, wherever you are, kudos, man. Kudos. Layla Mohammed. <laughs> and Layla Otieno. But three of them, recipients, have done incredibly well in America, came back, and now they're part of this country, part of this economy. All three of them in their 20s, unmarried. Thank you, Jeff. Dr. Ari, what do you think? What, 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 what's going on, guys? Yeah, no, what's, what's going no, on, no guys? No boyfriends? Leila, Leila, you first. <laughs> Mike, Mike. <laughs> the dreaded question. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you're really putting them <laughs> on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The, um, well, in our culture, we believe in, in things matching. Yes. So, of course, so you it date. It hasn't matched yet? It hasn't matched yet. Ouch. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe soon enough. Kagure. I think you grow up being told, work hard, go to school, uh, get a job, and now that you're done with the job, that's when you're looking at the next phase. So career life. first? It was is that. that what, is that how you all up. feel, uh, Leila, Leila? Definitely. I'd want to be more settled. I'd want to first settle my career issues first and then move on to that. Go ahead, Doc. So what, what do we tell you about this? The man you marry is the most important decision for your career. Yes. The biggest career decision you'll make. Is the yes. man you marry. Clearly, you're taking that very seriously. All right, let's read a couple of tweets, guys. Tweets coming in very thick, very fast. Elvis Quinoa. Go on, Kibet. Elvis Quinoa, you say, those ladies look and behave so polished. I love the initiative, Jeff. Supporting girl education. Awesome. Many more, guys. I mean, so many compliments. Good work, Ms. Kidero. I wish we had one like you in Mombasa. God bless you. Oh, we do. We have Leila from Mombasa. <laughs> <laughs> Having to see the girl child soar great heights is a big inspiration to all the young girls. Fantastic. Keep tweeting, guys. At Susan Boya, at Koinangi Jeff, at Zawadi Africa, the hashtag best and brightest. Wow. C-O-G, you say. Susan Boya is inspiring the best of and brightest African girls to dream, do, and be more. She is indeed a woman of her time. Ruth Wanja Thairo, you say, inspired by Susan Boyer, great philanthropy from political world. Dr. Evans Kidero, true how differences complement. Okay. You know you're going to have to run for office one day. You know that? You know that? It's in the blood, my dear. It's in the blood. <laughs> All right. So, obviously, Zawadi Africa is about raising funds, it's about fundraising, it's about getting these kids as many as you can. Yes. And you work for Zawadi Education Fund, I, Zawadi, I don't work you? for Zawadi right now. Go on, Leila. So, um, as you've heard, you've heard about the scholarship part, you've heard about Giving Bark. Now, I wanted to expand a little bit about that. We have the Giving Bark is part and parcel of our core values at Zawadi Africa. I'll give you a couple of examples. Mm -hmm. We had a student who just finished for, uh, her four years, uh, Nelly Cheboy. She started a school in Nakuru, where she grew up, and called it Zawadi ECDE Center. And we had the pleasure and honor of visiting the schools. And? And very small kids from three years old to six years old in a place where there are no schools for miles. There are parents who trek, who bring their kids in a motorcycle for one hour every morning because of the value of one student. Mm. You've heard of Peggy Mativo starting the pace yes. and reaching the inner city schools and providing uh, support and students significantly. So th those are the things that we, Zawadi is not just about scholarship, it's about te each one teaches each one. one. And Right now, we actually have each one teach many. So we want to continue this good work, and we want to reach, we're already reaching 47 
counties and we've heard about the six countries in, in the African mm -hmm. growing. Mm -hmm. And of course, this is because of the partnerships and the funding and the friendships that we have. And so part of also us coming here is to reach out to our fellow Kenyans watching today uh, to ask for help because this money is going to not only support the fund, the, the SAT exam that is entrance level, mm -hmm the visa fees, mm -hmm. the flight. There's a lot, as you heard of my story, my mother could not even afford to take me to Nairobi, which by then cost like 600 shilling bus fare. So I got the support, somebody helped me through the visa fee, people like you watching today. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to give a bit of details of how people watching can do that. We have a pay bill fundraiser, mm -hmm. and it's gonna show up in the screen. Mm -hmm. It's 880470. Eight. That's eight eight zero four seventy eight, and that's basically the pay bill number. And yep. the account is your full name. We'd appreciate anything. Could be a twenty shillings. Could be twenty thousand. Could be a hundred thousand. We are open to it because at the end of the day, we are investing in Africa's future leaders. We are investing in Kenya's future leaders who are going to or, who are already touching lives in various villages and and cities that we come from. We also have a GoFundMe because not everybody keeps their money in their Mpesa. GoFundMe is an internationally known and reliable crowdsourcing website. So it's GoFundMe, the way it sounds, mm -hmm. .com forward slash is Awadi Africa. So far we've raised 1,230 shillings, which is 120,000. And it's people like us, people like the people watching, like you tonight, just adding $30, yeah. 10 shillings, yeah. 20 shillings. So we'd really, really appreciate it. And if our stories inspire you, and I know there are many girls right now watching and yeah. wondering if, forget if, not only America, but what can they do in their communities where they are? Absolutely. And that's where we're trying to go now. We're thinking of a leadership institute. It's not just about taking students to America. What can we do what we, where we are right now mm -hmm. here? So mm -hmm. maybe we'll target, you know, primary school students, uh, teaching them, or high school graduates, teaching them entrepreneurship skills, life skills, talking about the liberal arts education that we're getting in the U.S., bring it back to Kenya. So that's what we're looking at. And with your help, we're actually locking in 15 years next year. Absolutely. So it will be a huge help, and we would really appreciate it. Kagure, so do, do you go back to Alliance? Have you been back to Alliance? Yes, I have. Have you talked to the girls? I have been able to speak to them. What do they think of what you've done? I think they find it inspirational. I do find a lot of uh, younger girls coming up to me and asking, how did you do it? Mm -hmm. um, and it's not just through um, the people who went to my former high school. I do participate in a program called the SOMO Project, where it's a program that focuses on giving skills to entrepreneurs from low-income areas in Nairobi, including Kibera, uh, Kariobangi. And the whole idea is giving the knowledge you have, teaching them the skills you have, so that they're able to reach a point where they get grants or they receive law. Um, interest loans yeah. to be able to grow their businesses. Yeah. And so it's about being able to give back. Mm. It's not just about the schooling that we got through Zawadi, but the impact we have, yeah. not just our family. Leo Tiano, where do you want to be in 10 years? Um, in 10 years, um, 10 years, I would hope to be a CFO in 10 years. Whoa. Hopefully. Wow. And you will probably, you know that? You said that so honestly, you will. Dr. Susan, listen to this. Ahmed Mohammed from Isli. He says, there is no tool for development more effective than women empowerment. I salute Dr. Susan Boyer Kidero for her great work. Right. When, when you hear things like this, Dr. Tari, what goes through your mind? You know, I'm thrilled to hear that. I, I really am because that's exactly what I believe, is, is you give them the tools. You know, Zawadi was my inspiration, if you will, but you can see it's no longer mine. Zawadi belongs to a lot of people and Zawadi will outlive me by many, many years. It will? Women empowerment. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> what do you tell, Le Leah, let's start with you. What do you tell a young lady out there? What do you tell her, that 13-year-old or the 18-year-old who's about to sit for their exams? What do you tell them? She's poor, she's underprivileged, she, she has the, the grades like all of y'all, but she doesn't have that finance. She doesn't have that springboard. I'll tell her to work hard, 
at the end of the day, Zawadi came and found us because we were all prepared. And because we were prepared, we were able to take advantage of the opportunity. Had I not been very smart, had I not worked hard in college, had I not done leadership activities, I would not have been Zawadi. Mm. So do all the things you need to do to prepare so when an opportunity comes, you're able to take advantage of it. Yeah. That's what I would tell her. Yeah. How yeah. about you, Kagura? I think it's in the same message. The same message is that do the best where you are. Um, one, right, send a direct tweet to Zawadi Africa if you have the right grades and you're doing well. And I think Zawadi Africa will take interest in you and guide you through the process. And not just that, beyond Zawadi, do the best where you are. Um, give back to the people around you. Yeah. And we are able to, each one of us, we call it sending the elevator down, just being able to uh, help each other Send it out. down and someone else gets on. Yeah. We have a, uh, a message here from uh, Dr. Evans Kidero. Okay. Still up. Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> says Jeff, she is great, Susan, adds tremendous value and makes a difference in a lot of people's lives, including mine. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Oh, snap. <laughs> Thank you, honey. <laughs> now you can go to sleep. Oh. <laughs> He's usually in bed by eight. Is so, that right? Yeah. So today he stayed up to watch he JKR? He stayed up, clearly he stayed up. For you? So, well, uh, and for you. Hey, Dotari, yeah. appreciate it, man. Good looking out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Layla. <laughs> the Coast Girls. The Coast, I mean, uh, you saw that message there, yeah? I wish there was more Dr. Kider, uh, Boya Kidera in, in Mombasa. Because maybe there are not that many who have that opportunity. What do you tell that, those girls out there who want to be like you when they grow up? I'll get real for a second. Um, part of what I believe, to give you time to do all these things that you heard my, my, my sisters mention, you need to keep away from things that distract you. Right now we have WhatsApp, we have the series that are bought for 50 shillings. You should invest that time, go to a cyber cafe. Even if you type two letters every two minutes, it doesn't matter. If you go and just search scholarships, bursaries, they say necessity is the mother of innovation. Absolutely. When your back is against the wall, if you need this really strong enough, you're going to find a solution. So as much as we tell academic is important, leadership is important, you have to have something. You have to have a why. Why are you doing this? Why do you want to go to university? Why do you want to gain this? So find your why and you'll get answers. Yeah. How many girls do you want to send next year, Susan? How many girls would you like to send out? Probably about 30, 40. Wow. Thereabouts. Wow. But I, like I said, I think that the focus, it's so much broader now. Yes. It's so much broader. Yeah. And so a lot of what we're trying to do now is the high school outreach. One of the things the girls have always said to me is it's great, but, but high school may be, you know, when you get me after high school, that may be too late. That we should be talking to girls who are 14, 15 years old to get, the, as, as Layla says, so that they don't get distracted, yeah. so they don't get into things yes. that are going to prevent them from going down this path. So 40 girls scholarships, thousands of girls in high school. Yes. Do you guys feel that you intimidate the boys a little bit? <laughs> if I was 25, or when I was 25, my goodness, I would be intimidated. Go on, Kagura. <laughs> I think I'm just going to quote uh, Chimamanda. Oh, okay. Who says, the kind of man I intimidate is exactly the kind of man I don't want to be. Oh, was yes. that the Purple Sun thing? Was that the book? Uh, what, 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 Americana? It's one of her famous <laughs> quotes. Quote yeah. her is that right? Yeah, say that again. Hold on. Say that again. The kind of man I intimidate is exactly the kind of man I don't want to be. Ooh. Go on. Leila, do you intimidate those... Uh, Costarians, Mombasani. <laughs> we got, there are some people in Mombasa that I do not intimidate. <laughs> so I'm not going to uh, 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 <laughs> put my city down. Uh, uh, uh. County 001. Yes. yes. 001. Uh, 001. <laughs> so, but I'm on the same page as her. As you heard, Dr. Susan said, it's the man you marry is one of the most important career, yeah. you know, choices. You yeah. Make, so. Leo Tiano, you think you intimidate some guys out there? 
I don't think I do, but I'll, I'll, I'll say I'm, I'm very particular with what I go for. Oh, okay. Not anybody gets, not everybody fits the bill. <laughs> Victoria, obviously these ladies know what they want, huh? They do. They know what they want. They do, and they should, mm -hmm. and they should. Yeah. When you look at them and you look at the last 15 years, how do you see Kenya's future? It is so bright, Jeff. It is so bright. I, I, need, I need sunglasses. Mm. I, I'm serious. Our future, this is it. This yeah. is our future. Yeah. It's bright. Yeah. By the way, there's a quote that Oprah Winfrey told me once. I'm not name dropping. I'm not name dropping. You're kind of name dropping. But something towards something to, similar to what she just said, Susan. She says, and she was quoting from Smokey Robinson. You guys probably don't know who he is. He looks too young. <laughs> Smoke, I know who Smokey he is. once told Oprah Daktari that the future is so bright it blinds my eyes. Yeah. That's what he told. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's bright. It's bright. We have a brilliant, brilliant youth population yeah. in this in this country in this continent yeah we just have to tap into it yeah unleash that potential yeah. they'll take us the rest yeah. of the way and, and these guys do they realize they're the future i think they do they hear it a lot from me <laughs> they know that they have a lot of yeah go on leila you want to say something all the present and the future i believe that because we're we, like you heard our sisters myself we're already impacting community because that's what it is, right? So the future, the present, we believe it, and we hope to do more yeah. with the support of people like absolutely. you. Absolutely, absolutely. I got to read this quote from Fintandinha. Susan, you like this. It says, Susan Boyer reminds me of Mother Teresa. Keep up the good work, God bless you. And then there's a quote there from Mother Teresa. Not all of us can do great things, but we can do small things with great love. Fintandinha. Thank you. Nice. That is lovely. Daniel Melchior says, Dr. Susan Boyer, what about some of us who mature late? I'm in my 40s and just realized I'm a genius. <laughs> then do what Leila said. Go to, a, go to a cyber cafe and look for scholarships. <laughs> wow. Youth, World Youth Government says Susan Boyer should get the Nobel Peace Prize and Medal of Honor. Oh, we I are agree. proud of you. We should all get the Medal of Honor. <laughs> okay. Thank you. That's great. Thank Closing you. thoughts. We're going to start with you, Leila. Closing thoughts. That's your camera over there. Talk to your girls out there. Mombasani001 is watching you. you got a minute. Closing thoughts. Uh, just to summarize, um, I went to a school that did not have doors or windows, went to a district school, went to America, finished my master's degree, and worked for one of the most, uh, the, an organization that I'm most proud of. So if you're watching out there, work hard, get those grades, but what really is going to separate you is your why, your drive, your persistence. And those are some of the messages that we drive down our students right now who are with Zawadi. So persistence over brilliance is my message. Mm, nice. Kaguri um, Wamunyo, this camera here. Okay. So just for me, I'll take it up for one of the core values of Zawadi is leadership and the community around us. I think uh, a great value that I have learned and through um, Dr. Susan Boyer has been whatever opportunity comes in front of you or a challenge, you know what, dive in. You will learn how to swim, you know. And as young women and as the youth, take the opportunities in front of you and be able to impact the people around you. Yeah. Fantastic. Well done. Well done. Even if you dive in the deep end, it's okay? I do it every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Leo Tieno, same camera. I would say be honest about the resources that you have available to you. It is only when I re recognize that my parents will not, will not be able to take me to college on a regular basis that I started working hard to get to college on my own. And that led me to this place. So that honesty with myself and realizing these are the resources that I have and this is what I don't have, that's what got me here. So be honest with yourself and don't let peer pressure lead you astray. Yeah, well said, beautifully said, well done. Dr. Susan Boyakidero, you get the last word. That's your camera. The last word, every journey starts with one step, baby steps. So for the girls watching, doesn't matter how daunting it seems, just take that first step 
For those who are thinking, how can I do something like this? Take that first step. For those who are thinking, how can I help Zawadi? It doesn't matter how small, whatever you can do, it'll be appreciated. Absolutely, absolutely. And by the way, Joey Torchi is asking, Leila, he says, you have not said the date of the next fundraiser, and what's the website and contact details? Thank you very much for those questions. Uh, our website is zawadiafrica.org. Our fundraising plan is actually ongoing, so we're starting with the online kickoff. Uh, we'll be having smaller gatherings as well, but we will definitely share uh, information we'll about the bigger fundraiser. fundraiser. We, we're going to be fundraising online for the, for the next three months, yep. and then we'll have a final fundraiser. We will announce that date probably in the papers. And if they want um, more information, go to the website. They can go to the website, yeah. yes. And, and, uh, and also you can reach it as info at zawadiafrica.org. Info at zawadiafrica.org. For any questions. Pay bill yes. number again is 880478. Yes. And account number account is Account number name. is your full name. Yeah. Yes, Excellent. anything. We really appreciate that. Excellent. Ladies, yeah. it's such a pleasure to meet you. you know that? to meet you too. Yeah. Thank you for having me. And us. you can look me in the eye now, can't you? <laughs> Absolutely. You Absolutely. Look at that. I tell you, man. America makes a difference, doesn't it? Zawadi <laughs> Africa makes a difference. <laughs> Thank you. Well done. Katari, good to see you as always. Good to see Keep you Keep doing too. what you do. Thank you. I Thank would you vote for, for you. Us, Whatever yeah. you run for, I'm going to vote for you. Thank you. I'll well, say that right now. These may be the people you'll be voting for. Oh. Right here. The future. <laughs> right here. Fantastic. Keep tweeting, folks. The tweets are very encouraging, and I hope we've inspired you as much as they have inspired us. The Twitter handles are at Susan Mboya at Zawari Africa, at Queen Anger Jeff, the hashtag, best and brightest. That's exactly what these young ladies and 350 plus others have done across this continent. Doesn't get any better than this, folks. Spread the word. Zawari Africa Education Fund has done wonders and keeps doing wonders. And I said earlier on, Tom Boyer, wherever you are, your daughter, is representing. <laughs> is that what they say? Is that what you guys are representing? Sort of thing? Yeah. You got it. You hey. Got it. Hey. <laughs> Next week is a new week, new show, new guests, new themes. But the one thing that's always consistent, those three digits on the keyboard that follow each other, JKL. Every Wednesday, Thursday, right here on Kenya's television network, KTN. Thanks so much for watching. Good night. Good luck. God bless.